Protocol Village. Blue Whale, AI Web3 startup relying on smartphones, targets $10 million in node sale. The latest in blockchain tech upgrades, funding announcements and deals. For the period of October 3rd to 9th. Tuesday, October 8th. Protocol Village exclusive, Blue Whale, an AI Web3 startup that uses smartphones as nodes, aims to raise as much as $10 million through a node sale, running now through the end of November, according to a press release shared with Coindesk. By participating in the node sale, Blue Whale users can generate passive income on their smartphones by keeping the app running behind the scenes as well as contribute data and potentially storage and compute in the near future. Anyone with more than 500 BLUAI points can stake them to operate the master nodes on mobile while there are three seasons of airdrops allocated for all node owners. Blue Whale will be selling a total of 100,000 network nodes. Node prices increase over time as tiers sell out, and buyers will have the option to pay lower prices through discount codes or via rebates by making referrals. Blue Whale's master nodes will initially focus only on data verification. Editors note, Blue Whale was featured in Protocol Village on August 27th, when the project announced the launch of its mobile web app, Hextrust, a fully licensed digital asset custodian with more than $5 billion in assets under custody attained, said it has joined forces with Clearpool, a DeFi credit protocol, to launch Ozean, described as the blockchain for RWA yield, supported by Optimism. According to the team, the partnership combines Hextrust's industry-leading services, 270-plus institutional clients and regulated infrastructure with Clearpool's RWA lending expertise to position Ozean as the blockchain to unlock the power of DeFi for RWAs, powered by the CPOOL token. Redstone Oracles has launched the industry's first Bitcoin staking oracles explicitly designed for Bitcoin staking. According to the team, Redstone's Bitcoin staking oracles will debut on Lombard, a liquid Bitcoin staking platform. The oracles track the amount of staked BTC monitor the issuance of LSTs and calculate the net asset value, NAV, of these tokens. This real-time data ensures accurate valuation and enables smooth interaction between Bitcoin and DeFi platforms. They are also slated for integration by PumpETC and Solve, plus expansion to new chains like Arbitrum, Base, and BNB chain in the coming months. Router Protocol, a decentralized protocol providing cross-chain communication and chain abstraction solutions, announced an integration with Solana, making it the latest network to connect to the interchain ecosystem, according to a press release. This comes just weeks after router integrated Osmosis, enabling interconnectivity between the IBC and Tron ecosystems. Solana users can now access liquidity, products and services across several EVMs and non-EVMS, such as Ethereum, Avalanche, Polygon, Tron and Near. Router is built using Cosmos technology at the heart of the interchain ecosystem, which has more than 100 blockchains connected through the IBC protocol. The Sandbox is launching a health and wellness experience in the metaverse, powered by Universal Health Token, UHT, and in collaboration with GeoKey. This platform offers activities like yoga and gym workouts, allowing users to earn UHT tokens through wellness challenges in the GeoKey app. The initiative promotes healthier lifestyles through gamification and rewards. According to the team, we're excited to partner with The Sandbox to revolutionize health and personal development. Users can earn NFTs and tokens by completing quests, merging virtual and real worlds to empower well-being. Layer 3, describing itself as an attention layer or alternatively a distribution network, announced its expansion to the Solana ecosystem, marking a significant milestone in its cross-chain strategy, according to the team. Launching in October, this move introduces a new interface, optional token migration and enhanced UX, partnering with 25 top Solana protocols like Drift and Magic Eden. Layer 3 aims to offer premium experiences while driving Solana adoption. With 300,000 active users and 150 million transactions to date, Layer 3's vision of a chain-agnostic super app is advancing, positioning it as a key player in blockchain engagement. Protocol Village is a regular feature of the protocol, our weekly newsletter exploring the tech behind crypto one block at a time. Sign up here to get it in your inbox every Wednesday. Project teams can submit updates here. For previous versions of Protocol Village, please go here. Monday, October 7th. Babylon, a Bitcoin-focused staking protocol, announced last week that it will open for additional Bitcoins staking this week. The first staking round, in late August, 
was capped at 1,000 BTC, about $64 million worth. But this next round, known as Cap 2, will be duration-based, meaning that users can stake as much as 500 Bitcoins per transaction over 10 Bitcoin blocks. The window is scheduled to be open as the Bitcoin blockchain runs from block 864,790 through 864,799, expected on October 8th. Points awarded per Bitcoin block are tripling to 10,000 from the current 3,125, according to the announcement. Layer, a startup that aims to extend the functionality of Ethereum by making the first developer tools that support full-stack decentralized applications with WebAssembly, disclosed that it has raised a $6 million seed round led by 1KX, with participation from Fabric Ventures, Arrington Capital, State Capital Group, and IOBC. Notable angels include Sriram Cannon of Eigenlayer, Rock Cop and Mike Siligads of Ether.fi, and Paul Taylor, formerly of BlackRock. Multi-chain layer 2 network Enduro, incubated by mining firm Marathon Digital Holdings, Mara, has developed a platform for issuing and investing in real-world assets, RWAs, on Bitcoin. The platform Avant, developed alongside tokenization specialist Vertilo, is planning a pilot project to tokenize whiskey barrels according to an announcement shared exclusively with Coindesk. Infinex, a next-generation platform that provides access to on-chain protocols, services, and apps founded by Kane Warwick, creator of Synthetix, announced the selection of Wormhole as its primary interoperability provider. According to the team, this collaboration will allow Infinex users to seamlessly transact and take actions across multiple blockchains, delivering a seamless, multi-chain experience that abstracts away the complexities of using multiple networks and tokens. W. Hacken, a smart contract auditing firm, announced the launch of Dual Defense Flash Pools, a platform that combines real yield with community-driven security enhancements in decentralized finance, DeFi, according to the team. In the Dual Defense model, Hacken contributes USDC into a flash pool, and invites the broader community to stake $HAI to earn up to 180% APY. In turn, security researchers are encouraged to review an already audited code and earn flash pool rewards in exchange for uncovering critical vulnerabilities. Implementing a secondary feedback loop puts Hacken's reputation on the line for the sake of greater security of the Web3 space. Friday, October 4th. Synax, a decentralized credit intelligence platform, has secured strategic investment from Wintermute Ventures and TON Ventures, bringing their total funding to $1.55 million, according to the team. The capital will fuel the development of Synax's credit intelligence protocol and its Telegram mini-app, SynQuest, which has attracted 250,000 users in two weeks. Wintermute and TON Ventures' expertise in decentralized ecosystems aligns with Synax's vision. By sourcing predictive credit analytics from decentralized sources, we allow investors to see credit metrics in real time, eliminating bias from the rating process. Locked. Money has raised $1.1 million in seed and private rounds to develop its trustless digital asset vaults, giving crypto investors full control over their assets with both custodial and non-custodial benefits. According to the team, the platform combines robust legal frameworks and tax advantages for a secure, user-friendly solution. Thursday, October 3rd. Axlar a blockchain interoperability project, has launched Mobius Development Stack, described as a reimagined Web3 design space. According to the team, Axlar Mobius Development Stack, MDS, an open interoperability platform for decentralized applications, is live on mainnet. Upcoming L1 launches include Flow, Hetera, Solana, Sway, XRP Ledger. MDS is a new interoperability standard. Advanced token utility, Infinite security and scalability. Sergey Gorbanov, CEO, Interop Labs, said in a statement that MDS is the first architecture that scales to support thousands of heterogeneous blockchains. Polyhedra Network, a blockchain project specializing in zero knowledge, ZK proofs, released the first set of data from its new proof arena, a benchmarking platform designed to evaluate and compare different ZK provers. According to the team, the data includes comparisons of provers from Polyhedra, Polygon, Linea and Starkware, Expander, Plunky3, NARC, Halo2 respectively. Results. The Expander prover is significantly faster in terms of proof generation time and peak memory. Plunky3 achieves stellar performance in terms of setup and verification time, 
and NARC has the smallest proof size. Editor's note. Please see our exclusive feature story on Proof Arena, published in July. Aptus Labs, a blockchain developer, has agreed to acquire Hashpallet Incorporated, a subsidiary of Hashport Incorporated and developer of the Pallet blockchain. According to the team, as part of the agreement, Hashport will migrate the Pallet chain and Hashpallet's applications into the Aptus network, including Expo 2025 Digital Wallet for Expo 2025, Osaka, Kansai, Japan. This acquisition is a key component of Aptus Lab's strategy to expand its footprint in Asia and bring the high-performing Aptus blockchain to one of the world's most innovative digital economies. According to CoinGecko, Pallet's PLT token has a fully diluted valuation of $23 million. Apt BOB, describing itself as a hybrid Layer 2 project powered by Bitcoin and Ethereum, announced the integration of its one-click Bitcoin staking solution, BOB Stake, into the Everstake platform. According to the team, this collaboration will provide up to 900,000 users, both retail and institutional easy access to secure Bitcoin staking. Everstake, known for its reliable staking services, aims to enhance user interactions with Bitcoin. The integration simplifies the staking process and opens up DeFi opportunities, making it particularly beneficial for institutional investors. BOB stands for Build on Bitcoin. Sway a blockchain built around the Move smart contracts programming language, has become the first Layer 1 project to drop the outdated Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, and is now running Scion's cutting-edge network architecture. According to the team, the upgrade provides validators with a comprehensive defense against internet routing attacks that have caused significant downtime on other networks, making Sway even more secure. Implementing Scion enables fallback between networks, giving Sway resilience to network hijacking and DDoS attacks. Validators maintain consensus during attacks, improving epic rewards. Full nodes benefit from better state sync, avoiding bottlenecks and retry delays. Sway, Poland's second largest bank, Bank Pakao SA, has partnered with Aleph Zero to launch Archive 3, a project to tokenize and preserve renowned Polish artworks. According to the team, using Aleph Zero's eco-friendly blockchain, Digital reproductions of masterpieces by artists like Jan Matejko and Stanislav Wispiansky have been minted as NFTs and stored in the Arctic World Archive for long-term preservation. This marks the first use of blockchain to safeguard historical art in the AWA, combining technological innovation with cultural preservation. Taurus, a digital asset platform to custody, issue and manage cryptocurrencies, and Chainlink Labs, a blockchain oracle developer announced a collaboration to accelerate tokenized asset adoption by financial institutions. According to the team, Taurus will use Chainlink to enrich tokenized assets with off-chain data and enable cross-chain interoperability. This includes integrating Chainlink data feeds, proof of reserve and CCIP. The collaboration aims to accelerate time to market for tokenized assets, increase liquidity and enhance cross-chain security. Holonym Foundation a project for decentralized digital identity solutions, announced a partnership with Renzo Protocol, a liquid res-taking protocol. According to the team, the Renzo Protocol platform leverages Ethereum and Eigenlayer's robust infrastructure and node operators to support the secure creation of human keys on Holonym's Mishti network. This enables users to generate keys using anything from biometrics to social accounts, ensuring both flexibility and security. Key Difference Labs, a venture capital firm, is partnering with LISC, an Ethereum Layer 2 project, to launch the LISC Pioneer program, an incubator program for projects looking to build on the LISC blockchain. According to the team, benefits include funding, $100,000 per project, total of 20 projects, mentorship, guidance from industry leaders with a proven track record, and exposure, access to events, marketing support, and networking opportunities. This program is a four-month go-to-market process. Startups will receive expert guidance on tokenomics, raising capital, partnerships, community growth, and assistance with exchange listings. Cookbook.dev announced it has partnered with 30 blockchain networks and projects, including Monad, Barricane, Polygon, Sway, Superfluid, Linea, Camp, Celo, Fuel, Web3.js, PYTH Network, and Tangle Network, who have fully integrated the Cookbook.dev suite into their documentation. According to the team, Cookbook.dev's Web3 developer system includes a comprehensive smart contract library, AI-powered ChefGPT assistant, coding playground, 
analytics dashboard, and more. Cookbook.dev aims to help onboard more devs, deploy more projects more quickly, and accelerate their growth.